you wanted to be closer to Cabo, and at the same time of living in the house, you did something that maybe some of our clients never would have thought to do. Why don't you tell everyone what you were doing with the house while living in it? With the Airbnb? Yeah. <laughs> we did Airbnb with Nick and his wife, Rocio. We, uh, we had a lot of rentals. And it was really nice. I felt like when people came uh, and rented my house, it was time for me to go on vacation. So I traveled a lot, and that was really enjoyable. Um, but we had so many rentals. It was just month after month after month. It was mm -hmm. just booked, 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 booked. So made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to go. And for people who are looking to buy in Cabo for a second home, this is a great way to you know, pay for all your expenses, travel, do whatever. So yeah. it's a really great program. Welcome to the Nick Fong Podcast. As the broker and owner of Ronaval Real Estate, Nick has spent nearly 20 years in Baja, California, sir. And in this podcast, he'll be talking everything Baja, from food and culture to real estate and property management. And now, here's your host, Nick Fong. All right, welcome back to the podcast. Today, I have a friend and longtime client, Bob McLean. Bob, welcome. Thank you, Nick. And actually, thank you for hosting us here at your new home in Los Bariles. Thank you very much. So, Bob, tell everyone how you and I first met and how long ago, approximately, it would have been. We met five years ago. Okay. It's February 2017. All right, and? And I just came to Cabo. Um, you found me a rental house, got the house, and then we started house looking. And we ended up buying a house in Ventanas. Yep. And uh, lived there for four years. And then even prior to that, your Cabo experience was in another community. Correct. I built a house in Palmia in 2004 and, uh, in Palmia Estates. Uh huh. And um, lovely place, too far from Cabo. That's a, that's a long ride at yes. nighttime, but uh, sold that property, left Mexico for a while, missed it, came back. Right. So now I've lived here full time in Mexico for five years. And so when you when we were looking at, because I didn't realize it was five years ago, but when we were looking at properties in 2017, you wanted to be closer to Cabo, and at the same time of living in the house, you did something that maybe some of our clients never would have thought to do. Why don't you tell everyone what you were doing with the house while living in it? With the Airbnb? Yeah. <laughs> we did Airbnb with Nick and his wife, Rocio. We, uh, we had a lot of rentals. And it was really nice. I felt like when people came uh, and rented my house, it was time for me to go on vacation. So I traveled a lot and that was really enjoyable. Um, but we had so many rentals. It was just month after month after month. It was just booked, 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 booked. So made a lot of money. Mm -hmm. It's a good way to go. And for people who are looking to buy in Cabo for a second home, this is a great way to you know pay for all your expenses, travel, do whatever. So yeah. it's a really great program. So over a year ago, yes. you get an idea in your mind. Yeah. I, Next chapter in the Baja. Right. And so why Los Bariles? I came up here on weekends with a friend whose family owns a ranch up here and just really fell in love with it. The beaches, the water, the people, it's, it's different. It's not as touristy as Cabo. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot quieter. There's an older crowd here of Americans and Canadians. Everyone here is so friendly. Everybody waves to everybody. Everybody says hi. If you're on the side of the road, they stop and ask you if you need help. So I really enjoy that and miss that from the, where I had my ranch in Northern California. Okay. So it was a very similar type of situation. And so, so you've, you found the land and you built this casita that we're sitting in right now. Correct. This is a 600 square foot casita, um, laundry room, great room, bathroom, bedroom, and put the walls all up, built a swimming pool, and I wanted to be here when we built the house. So we're about two months away from finishing construction on the big house. We have approximately 4,009 square feet. Uh, it's very private, very quiet, and there's a lot of nature here. Yeah. So 
Because the lot we're in is completely walled in and it's a half an acre. Correct, correct. So we got nine foot walls. It's very secure. Um, when all the lights come on at nighttime, yeah. it's, it's really pretty here. So I've seen a lot of fox here, which I never saw those in Cabo. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of birds and the beach is only, it's a two minute walk from the house. I'm the third house back from the beach. Mm -hmm. So it's quite lovely. The stars here are unbelievable. Uh, the sunrises are unbelievable. So I really like the tranquility. Hey, thanks for being a part of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast to get the latest updates. And if you're watching this on our social channels, please like and share. And if you want to be featured or you want me to talk on a certain topic, food, activities, culture, real estate in the Baja, drop a comment. How would you say living here now, has it been a year? Yeah, almost a year. See? How would you say, what are the, besides being closer to the water, right. more private, um, a slower pace of life compared to Cabo. Correct. What other things have you realized in the last year? Here you get to really relax. I mean, I, in Cabo, it's, it's busy. So a lot of tourists and stuff. We really don't have that up here. So, and I love the beach. So I like to go to the ocean. I like to swim in the water. I like to see the fishing boats coming every day, especially when the yellowtail tuna are running. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. So I've met a lot of really good friends here. Uh, I just enjoy it. And it was crazy. You were telling me before we started filming that neighbors in like down the street are from the same town that I'm from in California. It's just, it's, <laughs> it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. So everybody around here looks out for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if they're leaving town, they'll tell you, which is kind of nice. Yeah. And you know, we drive around, we look, make sure everything's cool. So good friends of the police, they come by often. Toot their horn, I look at them, they go like this, I go like that, they leave. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. So it's, uh, if I didn't feel secure, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. So I, I, I really enjoy that part of it. But it's really the peace and quiet. Now, so you were saying that um, there are other cool places like La Ventana, yes. right? Um, not very far from here, especially if you're in wind sports. Correct. But one of the things Los Bariles has to offer that a town like La Ventana doesn't is the hospital and medical care. Correct. And how have you found living here for a year compared to Cabo in terms of those services? The same. I mean, they have great services here. Uh, I have a police department, which we don't have in La Ventana's. Mm -hmm. There's more restaurants here now than there was when I came here a year ago. I think we've added three or four new ones. The food's wonderful. Prices are good. So this is really a good place for retirees or people who want a second home. Mm -hmm. Uh, great, I mean, a lot of families come here. They don't want the hustle and bustle of Cabo. They don't want to come up here. And so for me, it's been perfect. And I've really enjoyed my time here. So. Now, your house, you're building it as a spec home. So it is Correct. currently for sale. Correct. And the casita, the three bedrooms, uh, the two bathroom, the two car garage, huge laundry room, that master bedroom that when we were walking through it, that bathroom was just huge it's really big we have a five by ten walk-through shower so we have two shower systems on the wall we have a freestanding tub going in there um, it's got a two-ton air conditioner it's quite large we have a great room and kitchen that's very big great for entertaining all looks out to the pool so the views here i think are pretty spectacular well and this casita and the house that you're finishing has the rooftop terrace correct we have a 3,400 square foot rooftop on the house. It's really big. So I think you could have 100 people there for a party. <laughs> yeah, no, it's incredible. And a great view of the ocean. Yes. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to the completion of the house. And you've been just uh, 45 days or so on the market. Correct. And um, if you guys are interested, this is a house you definitely want to book with your real estate agent on a property tour. And Bob, yes. um, what will you do after you sell this house? Buy another lot, build another house. There you go. Yeah, see? <laughs> and it's a good business. It's a, it's a great way to occupy your time, you were telling me. It is. It is. I like to be busy, so I'm not a big TV watcher. And my builder I have is wonderful. He's from La Paz and speaks English, so it's very helpful. Yeah, and 
Bob is not afraid to roll up his sleeves no. and pick up a paintbrush. He was telling me he was painting the outside of the house. Correct. Yeah, <laughs> that's fun. I mean, come on. So now, And tell everyone how old you are. I mean, you're- I'm 73 years old. And he's painting the outside of a house, living yes. full time in Los Barriles. In a bathing suit. In a bathing suit, yeah. going to the beach every day, si. adopting dogs. Correct. Uh, mingling with the locals. This is the Baja. This is Bob McLean. Bob, I appreciate you joining us and hosting us at your house. Yeah. Thanks, Nick, for having me. Yeah, no, okay. always a pleasure. You know how to get a hold of me. Yes. And everyone, you have to check out Los Bariles, the East Cape, if you haven't. The water's amazing. It's warm. It is a great place to unwind, re relax, um, and you meet great people like Bob McLean. Mm. Guys, until the next one, bye for now. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ronaval Real Estate. And follow Nick on Instagram at Nick Fong underscore Ronaval. Ready to find your Baja dream home? Check out the latest property listings at ronaval.com or findmexicohouses.com. Hasta luego.